bam. Our 150 ton Scotchman iron worker. This particular machine I just had tore all apart last week and I changed the hydraulic line that was leaking on it. The pump and everything's down inside so you pull all the panels off and I swapped out the hydraulic line. I just walked up to this machine and here's what I notice. Folks, this is not a $60,000 metal storage bin. Keep the metal off it. That's a great way for a piece of metal to work its way in where it shouldn't be, in a pivot point or one of the rams. It's also a great way to hurt yourself with that metal falling on your foot. The, the preventative maintenance on this machine isn't a lot because it's a very incredibly robust machine. Now once a year you should check the tolerances on the blades and you should make sure everything's fit. But what it does need every week or so is this thing has greasers all over it. And we need to come in and put one or two pumps of grease in each one. Now if you do this every week or two, you only need one or two pumps. If you let it go for a month, you need to put two tubes in it. You see the thickness of the metal on this thing? There are extreme pressures on this machine when it's in operation. This machine has some incredible capabilities for very thick materials. You have to keep grease in them. If these pins dry out and they weld themselves, which they will, it's catastrophically expensive to fix. So we walk around the thing and we put our grease gun here and there. We make sure the guards are all in place. If they're not, don't use it, fix it. But one of the biggest frustrations is when we walk around, there's metal laying on it. It's not a storage bin again, and come on over here. This was also just fixed. And now we have a broken guard. Not only do we have a broken guard, but we have a broken hardened bolt snapped off up inside the machine. There's only one way that that happens and it's from misuse. If you don't know how to use a machine, you need to ask your instructors how to use this machine. Don't just come figure it out, go find them and have them show you. Come around to this side. Again, wipe the machine down, keep it clean, keep the metal off it. Grease is the most important thing on this machine. That's how we keep this machine running nice. That's how you get more use out of it instead of working on it.